sample of dirt we bought last winter from a local source and it has been known to perhaps be one of the sources of the amino lid, amino pyrolid contamination we've been going through. So rather than put it anywhere, we brought it all down here and cardboarded it, surrounded it by hay. I see some grasses growing in it, but that's kind of how that particular herbicide works, right? Yeah, it's it, like... It lets grasses come through. How long has this soil been sitting here bare like this? It's been probably three months. That's a long time to have bare soil without nature bringing its own yeah. seeds. Yeah, it should be infested with yeah. weeds yeah. by now. Yeah, it should be infested with uh, lamb's quarters is usually what we get. At the end of June, I discovered, I, I learned that I had just put two yards of aminopyrrolid laced compost on my garden beds, and I was, that explained why my vegetables were all stunted. Um, I had put it on the year before and had very stunted vegetables as well. So, uh, giving it some thought, I decided that I did not want to eat herbicides. The reason I garden is so I don't have to eat herbicides in my food and there was no choice but to dig up everything. We threw everything away, we dug up 18 yards of soil, had it removed, brought new in, bought starts, replanted them, and I'm very much happier now. How it was a lot of work. It cost me uh, almost $3,000. Wow. This is the difference between uh, raspberries that had aminopyrrolid manure on them and raspberries that had regular manure on them.